right, let's look inside since I finally got my hands on this. So as soon as I opened it, I was impressed. Notice that they're already encouraging students to use tens and regrouping. And then I love that they throw puzzles in between to keep the child's attention. Notice there's a lot of color and a lot of pictures. And again, they're reinforcing creating tens which is really important because it really teaches a child how to regroup and do mental math very, very well. Here you'll see the expanded form, which Singapore also encourages. And again, you'll see the regrouping concept. Whether it comes with addition or subtraction, they really, really emphasize this. They also do a really good job of having a lot of visuals so that the child doesn't get lost when they learn all these new concepts. Now here you'll see the practice and the review, and I love the puzzle on the right-hand side where they have to get those in order, from smallest to largest, or vice versa. They also teach skip counting throughout level two. And again, you'll see that they enforce a lot of puzzles to reiterate and to reemphasize these concepts. I'm going to fast forward a little bit through the book just to give you a better idea of what the inside of this curriculum looks like. That way you can evaluate for yourself if it's appropriate level for your child. And yet here we are again with them emphasizing groups of 10 and reminding the child how to regroup so that the child can get stronger at math. I absolutely love that, that they're constantly reminding them. I do want to add that I was pleasantly impressed with just all the tools that they use to teach so many of these concepts. This right here makes my teacher heart so happy. Here is a glimpse of what a strong math student thinks in their mind. If you can get your child to think like this, then your child is definitely on the right path towards success. I'm not sure if any of you are noticing what I've been noticing as I've been looking through the book, which is there is a lot to read in the book. That is one of the downfalls that I've noticed. Unfortunately, if you have a student who is not as strong of a reader, then this is very, very, very parent-led. Um, and unfortunately, not a lot of parents have time for that when you're teaching a bunch of different kids. But again, the curriculum does look very, very solid. But for some students, all that writing can be very, very overstimulating. Here's another example of a very well done concept. They use shape to reiterate skip counting. What a great way to make it practical and real instead of skip counting for no reason. All right, ladies, hopefully this video and look inside helped you make a better decision. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you can get our weekly videos and all the other curriculum look insides that we will be doing.